And uh, the last thing, too, I would say is this is another reason why it's good to work together with other people, because if you see an area that you're strong in, then you could get to somebody uh, get together with somebody else that you trust and you, you know, you trust their point of view and their integrity. And then you guys can come up with something together and you have it sealed from both sides. That's what Joe and I did with these slides. Like amazing. I, when we discussed that first episode after that, I was like, you know what? I feel like we need some slides. I feel like we need some, something to make it a uh, visibly clear for people. When they look at something, they can make more sense of it because there's a visual aid. And Joe was like, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's actually a good idea. So. Yeah. I put myself in my the shoes of myself when I first discovered this. I'm like, would I have figured this all out without AIDS? Probably not. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's a really good idea to put together visuals. So. Yeah. Did yeah. you have any comments about this um, slide or information on this slide? Oh, yeah. Well, as you explained in the slide, um, it, it indicates whether you have a preference towards the intuition or a preference towards the sensing, but we all have both. Um but it's indicating what is higher on your preference list, so to speak. Um, and you also have to understand these are, we're talking about the perceiving function. So your perception, your perception, your perception has two sides of the coin. So you can't, you're always going to have intuition sensing and they're always going to be working together. It's just that if you're in this case, say you prefer the intuit intuition, your sensing is kind of, kind of work for your intuition. Like it's like your intuition comes first and then you engage the sensing to as to help your intuition, so to speak, mm -hmm. to prove your point, to find data, et cetera, et cetera. And if, if you prefer the sensing, it's the opposite. Like your intuition becomes a, in sense, uh, I keep wanting to say slave in a sense, I guess that works, <laughs> but no, um, it, it works. works. Yeah, it works for your uh, sensing. Your intuition works for your sensing. So you don't make an abstraction first. You 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 do the, your sensing thing. You're putting together the sensory data, the experiential, et cetera, et cetera, and then you engage the intuition. Uh, so that's also when you uh, you have a preference because everybody's going to have uh, sensing and intuition. Or when we get to the judging functions, you're thinking and feeling. It's everybody's going to lean towards one part of the axis and whatever is in front of the other is going to be like uh, the boss <laughs> of your perception, the boss of your judging, and the other one's going to insist it. And uh, when it's like, for instance, we'll use, like, we talked about this a little last time, but like Brandon and Sharon, they have a, a more of a, they have the auxiliary and tertiary functions is the uh, perceiving functions. So it's more of a 60, 40 kind of ratio. So it's more in a balance anyway. Um, so you're going to be kind of balanced using your perception. Um, but if you're like me and you have it like in the front, then it's more like an 80, 20, 90, 10 kind of ratio. So I'm really using the intuition and I might get around to the sensing, <laughs> but I, I, knowing this, I force myself to be more sensing. I force myself like, so I don't have the whole world crash down on me because my abstraction was all fucked up. Like I actually will start doing the work before I get to that point and adjust my intuition as needed. So but, how do you yeah, do so that? I just want to that? How do I do that? How do you force yourself to judge yeah, or to sense? I just uh, understand that I could be jumping to a conclusion that I could be uh, uh, not have enough information. And I just consciously am aware of that partly because of this. <laughs> and uh, so I immediately start, okay, let me start looking into the actual data. Does this match up? Is the actual data when I'm putting the pattern together matching up with this abstraction? And if it's not, then I have to figure out why it's not. And if that means destroying my abstraction to get to that point, which is usually what's going to happen to some degree, I'm going to do that. Because that's if you're trying to perceive what the truth is, you got to use both of those, uh, your whole perception, not just one side of the coin. They have to work together. And I know I'm going to use my intuition more than my sensing. So I'm going to make sure I'm going to gauge my sensing and fix the problem before it crashes down on my head, so to speak. Yeah, that, that makes sense. It just seems like you're taking a more grounded approach is really what, you know, you're kind of yeah. grounding yourself in the real or the physical or the what's out there world. As opposed to just 
running with the internal. All right, cool. Thanks for that clarification. Yep, no problem.